Hello everyone, this is Super Galaxy Sam here. Um, I need to figure out why the special effects audio for like my transitions and shit isn't working. I'll figure that out in due time, but in the meantime, we're gonna stream side identity five. Oh, I'm a little bit exhausted because I've been running around cleaning frantically for the past couple of weeks, so that's why there hadn't been too many streams after picking up. But I've gotten a good portion clean, so hopefully I can continue. But um, with that said, let's go ahead and start with some gameplay. I haven't played IDV in some time because I've been very tired crafting and being responsible with my chores. So, and being tired, just sleeping a lot. So, um, I gotta warm up for that. You know what, I haven't, I need to warm up with Hunter gameplay. The only time that I play IDV is with you. That is valid. And hello, Jesse. How are you? I've been frantically cleaning. And then, of course, like last week when I was like, oh, I'll start, I'll do some streaming, my stream shit on themselves because my internet connection decided to be awful. I'm doing great too. That's good. Um, as I was explaining, for me, I'm doing fine. It's just that the whole week I was having terrible internet connection. So finally, <laughs> finally I can stream again. And it sucks because I was like on a roll and then I had to do a lot of cleaning and then afterwards it was like, oh yes, now I can focus back on stri- oh, there goes my internet. God damn it. <laughs> so, hopefully now we won't have any more mishaps for some time. I really need to get back into IDV. That is understandable. I mean, like, if you want to get back into IDV, definitely, you know, definitely do feel free to, like, try getting back into playing IDV. Oh my god. No, I don't want to lower my frame rate. Hush. Of course, they just wait for me. Ya boy. No, fuck off. I'm after Miss Bourbon right now. Gotcha. I think for me the biggest thing right now is just readjusting my OBS settings because uh, at the moment sound is not playing on the uh, fucking effects and everything that all the nice bells and whistles that I have which is a shame. 
It's an absolute shame. <laughs> What is this prospector trying to do? Gotcha. He's like, oh, I'll just throw it over here. Just like, not on you, but just a hair. Just a hair away from you. It's fine. It's like, stop that. <laughs> Like, stop throwing a hair near me. <laughs> you're trying. I can see you're trying, but it's not accomplishing much with this game plan, so you may want to try a different tactic. What now? Might. Might. No. Oh no. <laughs> oh, you try. Okay. Anyone over here? Ah, yes, there is. <laughs> that was a good hit. That was a good hit. I haven't played in a while and that still was pretty good. Let's do some more. Oh, the bats are new. I haven't seen the bats before. I think this is a new little detail right here. Okay, let's get started. I'm 
Okay, we gotta go over here. Hello. Where are you going, not thou? He's going to be smacky smacky spookity at me. Um, there we go. I do not know what the fuck I just said, but hey, words. Oh man, you better come over here and let me whoop you. Uh, um, I will find you. <laughs> uh, yes, I I will find you. In due time. Ah, there you are! Hey! What you doing? You know what? Fuck my anus. God damn it. Woman, why are you running so fast? This, this is silly. You shouldn't run that fucking fast. Why are you running? Where the fuck is he going? This is pitiful of me. <laughs> All right, well, mm, we got basement nearby, so <laughs> I'm gonna put her in basement. Yes! And we have... Yeah, about that. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. They probably already opened gate, though. Yeah, they just opened it. Gotcha, woman. You're gonna go on a chair now.
I just realized I now have three monitors, so I can <laughs> I can do more things all at once on stream. It's pretty sexy. Um What do they mean? Hey, that's me. What does this imply? Hello? Say what? This person's like, Hey, that's me! I don't know why, that's kind of strangely ominous. Sus <laughs> Sus. Sussy indeed. Because unless OBS is not picking it up, um, I only have one viewer count. So, unless they're not viewing it as a signed-in user, I don't know. I don't know what it means when they say, hey, it's me. That's me. What do you mean that's you? Uh, do you mean like someone has the profile pic of your character? Do you th what does this entail? That's pretty ominous there, ma'am. Pretty ominous indeed. Min mod my word I got a count for two. Oh Is that so? Oh human, come back here. I, I need I need to pummel you real fast, please. I I need I need to give you a little cheese sandwich of a knuckle sandwich. And yep. <laughs> That's why. That's why. Oh, I see. I see. Fucking hell. That explains a lot. That explains why I was disrupted. Hello, Moten. You are seeing me be a boy failure today. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I I haven't played IDV in a while and it shows. Any word that isn't PG-13. Wait, so you mean like words that are like R-rated? Or do you mean words that are PG? There we go, got you. You're going on chair now. You've caused so much trouble for me, little kid. Like, are we talking about cursing or are we talking about not cursing? R rated, okay. Yeah, because I'm like, I don't think there's enough words. There's not enough curse words in the curse book to to fulfill uh, the parameters of um, <laughs> sinking back into Avatar Prank. That's valid. I 
I've actually never watched the Avatar movies. <laughs> but they look interesting. <laughs> Alright, no, no, no touch the child! No touch the child! Get away from the child! Get your Motherfuck! And it never left my brain. That is understandable, because it's all like some trippy ass dream shit, in a way. Like when you watch. It's one of those movies where when you watch it as a child. It just seems like some surreal dream state, and it never, like, it never leaves your brain. It just sits there rent free. Hello! Where are you going? You cannot. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Get out of here. No, because the animal designs, that is valid. They're pretty cool. Hello. Oh, you think you you think you can get over there freely, like it's free fucking real estate? No, ma'am, you're not gonna. Come here. I still want a banshee. Oh, you mean those like giant pterodactyls? They're pretty cool. That is a mood, yeah. Do you have your funny little doll, or is it just you in the flesh? Oh, it's you in the flesh. Okay. And I just realized I bypassed the rules. Dang it. The rules that Jesse have set up for me. Um. So, about that mechanic. Okay, bye. Yeah, go get the- go get your tie. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, dog drag dodging the rescue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just, oh, I tried. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's do some survivor stuff. An attempt, exactly. An attempt was made. An attempt was indeed made. I tried so far and got... What was it? I tried so far and got... Tried so hard and got real far. In the end, it doesn't really matter. I had to fall to lose it all. <laughs> In the end, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I put my trust in you, pushed aside as I could go. For all of this, there's only one thing you should know. I put my trust in you, pushed as far as I can go. For all of this. There's only one thing. Yeah, so for the only thing I cared about in the second movie is the Water Chief guy rotating him in my brain right now. <laughs> that is understandable. 
Oh, the thief is easy to go up against. I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. I had to fall to lose it all. In the end, it doesn't really matter. I'll be real honest, I don't think I'm that great of a singer. But I just go ahead and go, ah, oh, yeah, screw it. But then again, I also have, like, a bit of a good sum of dysphoria around my voice. But that's a me thing. Aggressively bangs out Lincoln cartoons and Beethoven. Them. Aesop sticker. I am trying to sleep. Stop partying all night. <laughs> I actually like talked about this in a Discord voice call earlier. Um, we were we watched the FNAF movie and then afterwards we just talked about stuff. And one of the topics that came up was, like, being around people who are being obnoxiously loud while you're trying to sleep. And I mentioned to them um, that one of the things I had to deal with for a good solid two to three years was um, neighbors. Like, Hispanic neighbors. Um, who are constantly having parties. Every night. Throughout the full night, seven days a week, year round. So you, I'm just like minding my own damn business and I'm trying to get some sleep and directly next door, it's loud enough where I'm hearing to span, like span, like Mexican music blaring loud enough to be assumed to be in my room. And there's like part, like, very bright lights blaring from the backyard next door that you can visibly see and there's like a 20 foot inflatable slide not the ones you get from like Walmart but like the ones that you have to like rent in order to use and um yeah I had to deal with that every night for a good portion of my life as a college student and that was just my night. Well, why did he do that? Is he acoustic? I do not know. I, I, all I know is... I think that's a different question. <laughs> but, um... That I kind of missed the timing of, so I don't know the answer to that. But, um, all I can say with my story is, yeah, I just heard nothing but Mexican music. Like, Mexican party music, like, every single night for at least a good couple solid years. I got used to it eventually. Exactly! The EP sticker, it's so funny. It's Aesop just being like, my poor sensitive uh, neurodivergent ears need sleep. Please shut the fuck up.
white noise but make it spicy fiesta <laughs> yeah no that that that's accurate <laughs> just pa la 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 pa ma try and play idv nice I think the funnier, the kind of funnier thing about my uh, ex-neighbors, because I don't think they live here anymore, uh, was um, was uh, because they had the parties basically every night. They never took down. They literally never, ever fucking took down. They never, ever, ever took down um, the the party slide, the twenty foot tall party slide. <laughs> like I'd be like minding my own damn business. I go to my room and there's my window that's pointing out to where the neighbors' uh, houses, the neighbors' yard, and I would just see the fucking slide, just there. And sometimes in the middle of the day, there would be a Mexican party music playing. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> well, this is my life. It was literally fiesta all day, every day, every night, 24 seven. And it just happened to have the same timing as when, um, that whole meme about the guy who's trying to sleep, but there's like flashing lights and noises playing outside in front of like his backyard or so came out so oh, it was like IDV added color blindness yes they did and i think that's really awesome yeah it literally just came out at the same time as that meme so literally within that whole meme about the uh pov you're trying to sleep but the uh, people next door are raving to Carmo dancing meme came out. I was like, oh no, that's literally me. <laughs> and it only stopped when they moved out. <laughs> Listen, I know they say that, hey, you can learn a uh, language in your sleep, but I don't think that's it, chief. <laughs> Cause I learned not <laughs> through there, through through my neighbors. I actually never understood that, by the way. They're always like, "Yes, you can, you can learn a new language subliminally while you nap," and it's like, "What are you talking about? That never worked for me." Mind if I join? Sure. Hang on. So anyhow, that's my little story before I go too much on a tangent. And, uh, yeah. Also, who is Jetpack Guy and Cheerleader? Charles Hall and, um, I forgot the cheerleader's name. But I like her essence. Her, uh, limited, her debut essence. It's very, um, very, like, cyberpunk, uh, jinx-themed. It's real cool. But, um, the cheerleader's, like, an assist character, and then he's, like, also, like, a kite rescue character. <clears throat> Yes, very league core. Wait, does this? Oh, that's cool. That's a nice way to uh, let players know if their game's working or if it's frozen. 
how to play this. Um, <clears throat> basically, try to block your opponent's uh, movements. You can go horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. And you're trying to fill up the board uh, first before they do. Or, like, score more points than them. Let's see, uh, this way? You are very close to tying with me. Oh gosh. Okay, uh... Yeah, I don't fully understand it, too. The basic gimmick I just understand is you just try to blockade your opponent um, horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. And it's better, yeah. It just works until it doesn't to the edge. Yeah. Basically, if you try going for areas uh, that have more of your opponent's uh, coins or, like, counters, um, you can score more points. By the way, apparently this is a real game you can play in real life. And my brain's just sitting here like, why would you bother flipping this many fucking coins on and off? I don't know why, that just concerns my brain. <laughs> I'm just like, why would you? I would much rather play it digitally like this than actual reversey. The goblin urge to flip stuff, so true. <laughs> yes, if you're a little goblin like myself, maybe, perhaps, you would like to play this physically. <laughs> oh, the joys of turning and turning and turning little coins over and over again. Shiny, itty bitty bits of metal. It's wonderful. I don't know where the fuck I was going with that, but congratulations. You got to hear me do some weird monologue shit. Why is it random and up, down, left, and right? I feel that. I wish I knew too. 
it kind of goes for like the closest uh, four points. So it's like connect four, but more complex for some reason. <laughs> Oh yeah, and uh, connect foreign drugs, basically. That's the best way to describe it, is connect foreign drugs. And uh, Jesse, if you didn't know, um, Prospector's getting a hunter form soon. Like in a few days. Yes, Prospector's getting a hunter form. I mean, like, it was confirmed a long time ago, but finally we have it revealed. When is Wu Chang's survivor? I wish I knew. I don't know if they'll have a survivor for Wu Chang's counterpart. Like, I know technically we kind of sort of know. Kind of sort of. And I say that because um, the closest confirmation we have is Jose being uh, possessed by Wu Chang's umbrella. But other than that, I don't know if they'll officially confirm or sign uh, a um, survivor counterpart for him. Apparently, they finally released a, an official Spanish uh, translation for IDV. It was a long time coming, but they finally did, apparently. But yeah, Jose Bade and the uh, first officer. He kind of, apparently, like, with one of the matches he was in, he kind of went cuckoo for cu Cuckoo Pots uh, when he got possessed by Wu Chang. Yeah. I'm so glad. I was, oh my god. I was talking about it, I think, for a good couple years now. I was like, when are they going to release a Spanish translation for Identity 5? Because IDV has an insanely huge Spanish fan base. Yeah, it's about time. <laughs> like, it's been apparent since <laughs> early IDV days. Like, IDV pandemic days. There was so many Spanish speakers I would run into who would be playing IDV or, or into IDV. And it's like, finally. Finally they get their dues. <laughs> we be out here for real. Exactly. You guys really be out here for real. Yeah, literally almost every single IDV streamer I would run into spoke Spanish. So it was, I literally was just dead ass wondering, when are you guys gonna, when is NetEase gonna recognize you guys? I'm so glad they finally did. Fuck.
Oh, it's so close. I was so close to that. I want to break free. Hello. Go, 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 go. Vominos, vominos, vominos. Oi. That was dumb of me. <laughs> Fuck. My, my non journalist survivor instincts kicked in. <laughs> Just don't rescue me. <laughs> Sorry, I got to go. Bye bye. I'm real sorry. I'm really gonna do it. Gotta go. Bye bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Shit. Do, 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 bonk. Pretty much. Okay, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. Yep, it is your time. I'm gonna have, um... I guess I will just have the game spectate Luca while I go pee.
Sam also forgets to unmute. Yes, I did forget you on mute. Wait. No, I am unmuted. I'm, I, I, fuck. I thought for a moment you meant, oh, Sam forgot to mute. No, I'm good. My, my funny little mic says I'm unmuted, so yeah. Oh, hee hee. All right. Wait, hang on. Um, I actually have yet to try the uh, nocturnal escape. Fucking hell. Okay, fine. I tried this. I, uh, um, okay. Oh, okay. Marceline, <laughs> records of this world. <laughs> Uh, I want to be Charles Holt. Don't know why my mind works like this, but if you make me mad, I can look like a crazy person. Honestly, that's valid. 
I think that's a really relatable to a lot of people, so you're definitely not alone on that. So Sam, I need you to make me mad. I will I will contaminate your pizza with sardines, uh, mandarin oranges, and pineapple. I will personally order you a pizza with that. With all those toppings. And thank you for the Ray Nebuchadnezzar. Thank you, thank you. How uh, How is everyone? I'm Super Galaxy Sam. Here on this channel, we stream i 95 and a bunch of indie games and kind of just uh, do our sorts of antics. And thank you for the shout out. Thank you for handling that shout out for me. I said make me mad, not make me sick. <laughs> well, most people don't like that stuff. Meanwhile, I do. I love... <laughs> I'm sorry if this causes so many people to automatically live. I, I love pizza that has sardines or like anchovies and uh, pineapple and mandarin oranges on them. That pizza sounds good, minus the anchovies. Hey, nice! We have another uh, sardines enjoyer here. Hello. Yeah, Jesse asked me to make him mad, and I'm like, uh, most people don't like their pizzas contaminated with cursed toppings. AFK Hunter? Maybe. Oh, nope. Not anymore. What if I mess up your kiting? Would that piss you off? I <laughs> Why are you kicking Neb? A what for the pizza? No! <laughs> Bad! <laughs> Jesse! Don't- we do not kick Neb on this cha channel <laughs> for liking cursed pizzas. <laughs> I'm sorry. I tried. I could not Angie. I could not Angie Jesse. No pineapple. So good though, exactly! Now, Nab agrees with me, it's so good. Why do you, <laughs> why are you booing? I'm, we're right. Place by me this nice. Don't save me, AFK. Okay. Yeah, I used to work at a pizza place, and it was basically like Subway but pizza. So I could, uh, so during my meal break, I was able to make my own pizza and just put whatever toppings we have on it as much as I please. And, uh, yeah, I would experiment with different weird pizzas. Oh, that is delicious. Oh my gosh.
Uh, Cypher Machine Primed. There we go. Keep it up. Victory's in sight. Oh. Pear and smoked stuff. That sounds good, though. <laughs> but then again, I'm also someone who likes weird food, so. Interesting stuff. I bet. Yeah, it really does sound good. Okay. Outie I go. Oh, yeah. I remember being taught how to make margarita pizzas and all sorts of other kinds. I've also uh, briefly worked uh, as, like, at a sushi stand. So I got to also learn how to make sushi. I do not blame you. Smoked salmon so fucking good. I like uh, eating salmon locks, like basically uh, raw smoked salmon on a on a bagel with cream cheese. That's like one of my favorite breakfasts. Welcome back. Pineapple pizza is <laughs> No, don't make pineapple pizza illegal. <laughs> it's totally legal, guys. Trust me, I'm the one who has a profession, a past profession in pizza making. It's totally legal. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Bears are onto some shit that most people need to get onto. <laughs> most of my lunches. Ooh. Smoked salmon and just salmon in general here is expensive these days, so I don't get to eat it much. But when I do, I'm just like, yes. I'm with the Italians. You're with the Italians? You're with the Italians? Like, uh, you're with the Italians? Hi. Where the fuck are you? Okay. Hawaiian pizza originate? Yeah, it's like complete opposite weather there. Ah, Hawaiian pizza originates from one of the cold, one of the colder areas of the uh, world. <laughs> Let's see here. Um. I am now mad at Cam that neck for pineapple pizza. <laughs> so that means you'll kite well. Dig, dig, dig. Dang it. Hang on. I gotta put the command in here. Dig. I am Drew Christ, and I'm overjoyed to hear you've chosen to pursue my crusade with me. The mission to dig! I will do everything in my power to fulfill this crusade! Even if it means I must be shot to the moon, I can verify that the moon dart tastes of cheese, and therefore is the worst failure that could potentially occur, as I shall find a new way to dig off the moon and back to Earth.
You just gotta dig, 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 dig. Andrew Crisis Crusade has been pursued 76 times, y'all. He would be very proud. <laughs> His digging crusade. Also, for those new to this channel, I just want to say, uh, the dig meme. Thank you for the follow, Nebuchadnezzar. The, the dig copy pasta there that I like came up with years ago it was real funny how that was a whole thing on my channel and then coincidentally enough like last winter we got um a Koei costume for uh Andrew that references him being a space miner <laughs> like he literally goes to the moon and digs and I'm like this is a real funny coincidence. It'd be funnier if it was like confirmed that they actually knew of the whole copy pasta, but I'm not a big enough channel, nor is the meme big enough for that to be a thing. I just think it's a funny thing. So the more you know. All right. But yeah, I haven't done it in forever, but I used to uh, roleplay on my streams uh, as Andrew Kreis, who's on this crusade to dig to the moon and back. Like, this was a constant thing for a good solid year. <laughs> and people loved it. Like, for a while, for a brief while, people actually knew me on the NAE server as, like, would be able to recognize me as the guy who uh, role-played as Andrew Christ who wanted to dig to the moon and back. Which was wild when I realized that. I was like, wow, you guys actually remember that? Holy shit. Um, okay. So I am trying to decode, I'm doing my decoding business as Diggy Boy. Come on, we are close to getting all these ciphers. Boink. But up, bum. There we go. Hang in there. I will. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Oh my god, they added this. This is new. This, they didn't have this last year. I love it. Wait, where's the fucking hunter? Where's the hunter? Uh, the exit gate's open? The hunter's gone? <laughs> okay, bye hunter. I'm just waiting for Jesse to get out of the match.
But yeah, Jesse's like, I'm with the Italians. And I'm like, you're with the Italians? You're with the Italians like Paganini? <laughs> of course, everyone's referencing FNAF. Yep. That is valid. Yeah. Also, who here has seen or is planning to see the FNAF movie? I, uh, I saw it last night, um, through Discord. Someone, uh, uh, someone decided to stream on their Discord voice call, so I joined in and watched. It was good. I'm not gonna spoil what happened. But it's worth a watch. It's, I want to say, one of the more... It's one of the better horror movies I've seen. It's definitely worth a watch. And I will say it's one of those movies where it's better if you understand FNAF. But even if you don't know anything about FNAF and you just see it as its own standalone movie, it's definitely one of the far more cohesive horror movies I've ever seen. Like, things make sense and are kind of wrapped up into its own, uh, like, bow, if that makes, if that's understandable. Basically, the world building and everything is established within a timely period without it lagging on. Uh, characters, like, you know, of course, obvious spoiler, there's children in FNAF, oh my gosh, there's, there's children in a movie about a horror story involving kids but um the kids the way they're written did they're I written make a halloween game mode yes they did uh the way the kids were written they're written like you know believable children cuz i've seen i've read stories and i've seen movies and everything that are like horror stories with kids in them and the you know the child characters they're like written in a way where it's like you can't find them believable to be kids. They're like they act more like adults or teenagers. Whereas in FNAF, in the FNAF movie, they actually act like kids. Uh, maybe a little bit off, but that's within reason, within the understand what's within the logic of world building. That of course they're not gonna hundred percent be like realistic kids because uh, of the, the only stuff they get through. Movie that I know yeah. that is real is TCM. I do not know what TCM is, but that's ah. fair. So that's what I gotta say about FNAF, the FNAF movie. It's well written, and um, I want to try this. I have no idea what this mode is. Trickster rules. Ooh. Okay, let's try this. But yeah, it's honestly a good movie for even those, in my opinion, it's one of those movies where it's good where even for those who aren't FNAF fans, they'll enjoy it. They may not 100% get it, but they'll at least understand the plot and be able to follow along. And like all the characters are written with believable personalities and behaviors. More or less, you know. <gasps> Look, we're little ghosties! Look at us flying TCM around! Equals Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, that, yeah, that's fair. Look at us fl I can't believe they've made models specifically for this. I love it! This is cute! What did you bring us into? I don't know. But hello everyone. This is Super Galaxy Samet. This is my channel. This is my circus and these are my monkeys. <laughs> my circus, my monkeys. <laughs> We're just in for the entire ride ourselves. <laughs> 
In other words, I fuck if I know. <laughs> Some shameless plug. Yes, shameless plug indeed. Uh. T. Uh. Cal cabinet teleport. No, I don't want to tell. Z cancel. I don't know what I'm doing. Stop the survivors from escaping. Okay. What are my funny little controls? What do I do as a funny little guy? Oh, I can haunt items. Got it. So I can haunt items and I can, uh, got it. Um, so basically you spooked survivors. You do a little boo. Even the pallets that are normally... Oh, interesting. I can't... <laughs> Where are we? What is this silly little glitch? Uh... Hello? That's great. <laughs> I don't think this was supposed to happen. We somehow spawned over there. Um, I think we're stuck. I know we're stuck. We're stuck. Uh, wait, hang on, cancel, cancel. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yes, yes, get him, get him, yes. Okay. I want to break free and we did look at the map yeah um that is not what I wanted okay I'm gonna where are they we are Ah, ah. How do I get over there? I always find the maps for all the Halloween stuff confusing. They're just... Existing. Hi! They're like standing there all con like what are you doing? No, I don't I wanna hunt haunt I want to spoopy. I wanna be a spoopy ghost. Um F Wait, can they see us? Like they're just we're we're two little confused ghosts. We're trying. Uh, 
Uh, I would just teleport here? Question mark. I will wait. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, ho. oh, they made it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right then. Uh... <laughs> Sands, now is not the time. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Um, hello, can someone come to this cabinet? Ooh. Can I? I'm haunting it. Ooh, 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 fuck. Survivors knocked down the nun because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I love how the survivors were just as confused as us. It's a maze. It is. It is a maze. Here, let's try that again. <laughs> that, that was so confusing. <laughs> Re Reinvite? Yes. There we are. No. I, I want to invite you. I don't want to look at your profile. <laughs> there we go. So what is it? Move around... Uh, in stealth and can haunt interact with objects turn to wax must stop survivors from escaping open the map at any time watch out for survivors carrying pumpkin bombs I don't think we knocked anyone down There we go. Go inside. Palace. Locker. Candle. Yeah, that's pretty much all we do. So, I'll try that this time. I love the little ghosts. Oh my god. Normally, they just go, oh, we'll just use the hunter models. But no, they decided to go ahead and take the extra time to make exclusive models. Design them. And I mean, like, they designed them, they modeled them, they rigged them, they put special... Like, they didn't have to put in that effort, but they did. And it's... Sounds ghost pink. No. I just really appreciate the effort they went into making this mode. Because usually... With the extra game modes, they don't really do that with the player character models. They just use pre-existing ones. But they actually decided, no, we're going to go ahead and... Um, we're actually going to go ahead and... 
Woo! <laughs> We're actually gonna go ahead and like, you know. Um I'm scary. <laughs> we fear me. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Ah oh, shit, I can't. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Woo. I'm going to go over here. Hang on. Let me let me get this funny palette. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Oh, do we knock someone? Oh, we did. We got someone. Yeah, they are. They're really cute. See, Nebuchadnezzar agrees with me. Okay, how the fuck do I get... Oh. I want... <laughs> the fact that we can't go through walls, though. Damn. Because now we're also stuck in this maze, which is annoying. That's currently my main critique so far as playing as the tricksters in this is you're not allowed to go through the walls. And it is very confusing, maze as it is. So it would be nice if you had a little bit more control over... Um, over the map. Come on, come on, fall fall from my trap. Fall from my trap guard. Ah. Hee ho ho. I see a little spooky thing. Um, I do like that they actually put a limit on how long you can haunt an object, so you can't. So like people who play this uh, side of the gameplay mode can't camp. That's actually appreciated. <laughs> Whee! We're nasty little ghosties. Oh, well, well, let's spook the boo out of you. Where's a candle when I need one? Um. Also, I'm actually glad that they added this mode because I remember playing this gameplay mode uh, in previous years where they only had the survivor side and it just felt like something was missing. Like, it was just so lackluster in a way. It was like they had an idea. It was there, but it felt like they needed to execute more. Uh Come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, they got out. Oh man. We tried. But that was fun though. Um I also would like it if they fixed that. Cause that's kind of an issue. Like, I get that the game's trying to keep the players from not getting stuck by iron, but ironically, you're getting stuck, so. It would be nice if that was adjusted for. And they also have, like, that issue a little bit. Not as grievous as, uh, as it is here, but, like, when you play Nightmare, the game constantly tries to readjust you, so you're not stuck, uh, so you don't teleport and end up stuck within objects on the map, but it ends up kind of being more de de uh, bit more of a nuisance than anything. Whereas here, it's like, I end up on the wrong side, so um, it would be nice if they reaccount for where you spawn. So you don't have that issue. But that's just my immediate thoughts. San, where were you? I got stuck. At the very end. I tried to, like, haunt a pallet, and then it put me on the wrong side of the pallet. You can TP. I know. <laughs> but that's, like, extra effort for something that shouldn't be an issue. <gasps> Do better. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do this. Let's be spooky! Ho oh, ho! Boo. Come on. Oh no. Ah, oh, shit. No, 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 no. I ended up on the wrong side. God damn it! Oh yes! <laughs> yes! Boo! I will blockade you! Cause that's the most terrifying thing in the world! <laughs> Come here. 
You know what's the second most terrifying thing in the world? Los Angeles traffic! Whoa! <laughs> Wouldn't want to get stuck in that! Hello, is that the bug? Welcome to the stream! How are you? Welcome. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you for the follow! I almost called it a subscription! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> I'm a scary little ghost. I don't miss California DMV. I don't blame you. I have to deal with them soon. I do not look forward to it. I gotta get my license renewed. Because it's about to expire. So I do not blame you. Woo! Fuck! Was chatting with someone who used to drive two hours to work. Only 30 miles. Yeah, no, that's accurate. That is accurate. That's what I have to deal with. Um, luckily not to work, but like to anywhere in my state. <laughs> Boo! Now you have to deal with the highway! <laughs> and that's the worst thing in the world. Come here. Wait, no. I gotta block your path. Um... Where are they heading? They are... They have their waypoints. Ooh! We got- we got a customer! Got a customer to scare! Eli, why are you heaving so heavy? Oh my gosh. He's like, oh, 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 oh. And it's like, holy shit. I never knew your voice was that deep, man. I think you can block him with the pallet. Oh my gosh, Lucky. That That's always the best feeling in the world with DMV, is when it's like short, it's brief, and you don't have to worry about it. Fuck! Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna get your pallet. I'm gonna get that pallet before you do. Nope, nope, sir, 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 sir. No, no, no. Ha! Ah, fuck! Yeah, I have failed at bonking them with pallet. I've only slowed them down. <laughs> Okay, so they can see us. <laughs> and now I'm stuck. Uh...
Go, shoo, 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 I say as the ghost. <laughs> it's like boo, but um, replace the B with two additional letters. Okay, they just gave up. Do better, Sam. I had two people ninety nine. I'm trying. <laughs> I am, I am trying to comprehend game. Probably going to be the last match for tonight because I got to This stream will not end until we have won this game mode. God damn it! So let us win. I will try. Let's see if we can win. All right. Uh, you got that one. I get. Come on. Try this one. Ma'am, if you try this one, you may just get something. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, shit. I'm on the wrong side. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. Okay, um... Oh, do you bash them? What? Was that the thing I was missing? Like, like, do you just punk them? Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense now. Um... I, I'm just now trying to navigate this maze myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was, like, confused. Because even I'm getting lost with this. And it's also not, like, letting me reattach to certain objects. Um...
Oh, I see someone. Come here. I'm gonna get you. Fuck. So now I'm kind of sort of getting this now. Bit by bit. Um, shit. Okay, so there's now a shortcut way. Um, and it looks like my my path is blocked off. Okay, uh, I'm trying to get through here. Um, got those lockers. Ooh, 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 ooh. Someone's coming here. Ha! I'll get him. Where did they go? Oh. Uh... Come on. Cameras won't out though. Up. Damn it. <laughs> Come here. Oh, you bugger. Come here. trapped here. <laughs> And I'm pretty sh Oh, we knocked down... Well, I knocked down two survivors. Or did we... We knocked down two survivors. still not ending till we win. Well, I think the game mode's closed for now. <laughs> but... I'll be sure to stream more of it before the mo game mode's over.
I knocked two of them. You did, and that's great. <laughs> I tried. I was starting to figure it out, but then I kept getting lost and confused, and where the fuck am I? <laughs> Oh, no, we can can we still match? We can still play a game mode. Nice. I'm basically... So far with this game mode, it's like I am that child that's lost in the grocery store. I think it never ends, which means this stream will never end until we win. Oh no! <laughs> well, we better win then! Stop getting lost in the mazer. Sad face. Sad face. I, I'm trying not to get lost in the maze, but I get lost in the maze. It's bad. Come on. Come on, push it! Damn it! Oh, now I'm on the wrong side. Oh, wait, no. Fuck. Yes. Where's more pallets when you need them? How dare. <laughs> yes? Yes? Oh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No! I had that! Why? No. Now it's my turn. Come here. Fuck you. Come here. Woo! <laughs> Little ghost riot shield. Yep. It is a little riot shield. It's like bonk. Ah, damn. There goes my shield. Sad. Hehehe. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! Fuck! No, 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 no.
They keep blasting us. They keep smashing pumpkins at us. This isn't some rock tour right now, mites. Oh. Okay. Going over here. We got three minutes left on the clock. We gotta go ahead and waste all the time. All right. Hello, I'm stalking you. I'm haunting you, in fact. Oh, I will follow you to the ends of the earth. Isn't that terrifying? I will, uh, I'll give you. I will grade your essay with an F. You will not graduate college. Isn't that terrifying? Ah, come here. You want to hear something else that's horrifying? Oh, your mother was a hamster and your father was... It smells of elderberries. Oh. You must be a stinky little rodent. Yeah, indeed. It is scary. <laughs> To those who are afraid of not getting through college, I, I'm i sure you can. <laughs> yes, the elderberries! Oh! We are sending some back to school. No! <laughs> Anything but going back to school! <sighs> Starting with grade one. No! Anything but grade one! I heard that the children in grade one, they smell not like elderberries, but still, grade one, no, it's the ter most terrifying grade. <laughs> Survivor, all right. Kitty. Hey, 
Hang on, let me start matching. Matching in four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. It is 10 p.m. That's why I was like, okay, this is going to be the last match for the stream. And then you're like, no, no ending stream until we win. And I'm like, fine. <laughs> we'll try winning. But yes, now it's 10, 12 p.m. over here. Yeah, that is late. <laughs> Hopefully you'll sleep after this. And oh my gosh, there is a draft. I do. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, you guys. That's why I'll be streaming tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'll be streaming Cookie Run Kingdom because I've made a lot of progress since the last Cookie Run Kingdom stream and I'm like itching to finish the rest of chapter 17 and uh, start work, start playing chapter 18. And then I'll probably stream more IDV the next day, Tuesday on a Halloween night, so. And once I get paid, which should be later this week, I'll, um, depending on what my budget is, I'm hoping I can get the full version of Paleo Pines. I'm hoping. I can't guarantee it because I still need to, uh, have money budgeted out for other stuff like I still want to go to anime Pasadena this up upcoming weekend so I gotta make sure I have money for that and then I also gotta take care of my driver's license because that's expiring soon and um, then just make sure I have enough for food and all that stuff so I'll see I can't guarantee it, but I'll see. Touch grass at TwitchCon. Touch grass at Twitch. <laughs> Honestly, I would not mind going to TwitchCon. I would love to go to Tri TwitchCon if I could. Um, I just need to figure out when the one in San Diego is. Because I think there's one in San Diego. There's one in Los Angeles, maybe. Or maybe it's just San Diego these days. But then there's like an East Coast one. But I eventually do want to go to TwitchCon. I just can't guarantee it. Yes, finally a match.
grass. I'm not allowed to do that. Indeed, it is good that Grasto exists. It's not grass, it's drip. Oh no. Not the turf. Oh, oh gosh. Um... Rest in peace, grass. Indeed. Rest in peace. I used to play field hockey and we would have to, like, run on soaked, uh, plastic tur turf. And that shit would get super hot on, like, just mo moderately warm days. Oh, 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 no. Get away from him. We'll be a... What's over here? Oh, 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 no! Oh, it's coming towards me! Fuck. I have been got. I've been bamboozled. Okay. Can I go over here? Uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, that new location marked. Got it. Got that. Got another banquet item. Oh, 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 okay. Someone's found something. Uh, car. Ooh, another banquet item. Okay, um. Why is one tie. Why is those two t commands tied together? What is this tomfoolery? Uh I at least got that banquet item. Okay. We're at three minutes.
Well, I teleported. Let's get out. I'm gonna just head out. Let's see here. Actually, hang on. Okay, let's go. All right. So that uh concludes that match. And like I said earlier, um my outro isn't working. I have to fix up the sound on these, but I will say I do have social media y'all can follow. I'll try to remember to have this uh, Twitch progress plus uh, some past other ones uploaded to my YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel can be found as one of my socials. No problem. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. We actually managed to hit 251 subscribers, which is amazing. Um, oops, socials. So, if you guys want to go follow me over on these uh, accounts, definitely feel free to. We also have a Discord server. It's pretty quiet in there, but definitely still feel free to join. I want to try, eventually get to uh, be more active on Discord. I've been very inactive over there, but slowly but surely I've been working up more social ability again. Um, but I do post over on Instagram. I do post over on Twitter. I do post over on YouTube. I need to get back to posting on TikTok, but yeah, definitely feel free to follow me on all those platforms. Um, with that said, I'll try to stream tomorrow, Cookie Run Kingdom, then more identity five on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to try attending anime Pasadena this upcoming weekend. So for those who are within California and will be attending Anime Pasadena, uh, definitely feel free to say hi to me if you see me. And um, I am working on some stuff behind the scenes. Well, I'm constantly always working on stuff behind the scenes. What am I saying? But I am going to be working towards uh, making some merch to sell at some upcoming events um, because I want to try building up income that way and if you want to support me uh financially check out my coffee it's within the socials and uh with that said i'll conclude it for tonight and um yeah that was a mouthful <laughs> but it do be like that sometimes so once again i really appreciate y'all 
uh, coming out tonight and following this stream and you know interacting with it. It really means a lot. Banana, banana, banana. <laughs> yes, indeed, bananas, indeed. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later. We hit the 250 subscriber goal, which is amazing. So hopefully, I can do something special for that. And with that said, I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.